Hey, thanks for coming to 1500ESPN.com. I'm Derek Wetmore following day four of Twins Pitchers and Catchers workouts uh, coming to you from Hammond Stadium. It seems the last few days I've started these videos off with a health update, and I finally have some good news to report. Every Twins player who missed practice Monday or was pulled out of practice and sent home has returned to Twins camp. Uh, that would be Kurt Suzuki, Jordan Schaefer, Oswaldo Arcia, Trevor May, and Jordan Schaefer. That also includes Trevor Plouffe, who was back for the second day in a row after missing some time with an illness, a flu-like kind of illness that seems to be going around the team. Um, only Jordan Schaefer was not able to participate in full. All those other guys did. Schaefer showed up to the park, said he wasn't feeling great, but he was feeling good enough to try to work up a sweat and see if he'd be able to go for workouts. Uh, apparently that early light workout did not go very well because Schaefer did not complete uh, full team drills Tuesday, but the rest of them did and uh, yeah, the Twins are finally getting a little bit of good news on that injury and illness front that they've been battling a little bit here early in camp. Uh, the Twins will host their first game of spring training on Wednesday as the University of Minnesota comes to Hammond Stadium. Paul Molitor confirmed officially today that J.O. Barreos will start that game for the Twins. Uh, he's the phenom prospect that a lot of Twins fans have their eyes on. Certainly the Twins have their eyes on too. He's just 20 years old. I talked to J.O. the other day, who also goes by Jose, by the way. Um, he has very big goals this season. I, I had kind of read about his goals this offseason, and I was amazed how high he was setting his goals. I'll have a piece on Barreos coming in the next couple of days or weeks, depending on how the timeline breaks, but he shared with me some some very lofty goals, and not only does he intend or set his goal anyway to make the opening day roster, he also wants to make the all-star team and win rookie of the year. I mean, just some incredible goals for a rookie who's just pitched a handful of innings in AAA to date, but that'll be an interesting start to watch for the Twins. Uh, also pitching in that game will be Glenn Perkins. I spoke to you yesterday in the video about Perkins being a little bit nervous about that uh, that appearance against his former team. Nobody wants to give up runs to the college team. Other relievers slated to probably go. Mark Hamburger, Ryan Presley, and I believe Michael Tonkin are scheduled to pitch in that game. Kyle Gibson will start Thursday, if it all goes according to plan, in the Twins' first real exhibition game, that against the Boston Red Sox right here at Hammond Stadium. Uh, I posted a piece to 1500ESPN.com. Take a look at that on the Sports Wire about the first five starters for the Twins, kind of interesting the way they decided to go. I could very much see those five guys being the five who break camp with the Twins on April 6th when they go to Detroit to play the Tigers in the season opener. Uh, obviously nothing set in stone. The Twins haven't said anything to that uh, in that regard yet. But if everybody stays healthy, I wouldn't be shocked to see a starting rotation of Phil Hughes, Irvin Santana, Kyle Gibson, Ricky Nolasco, and Tommy Malone those are the first five starters to pitch the real exhibition games for the Twins, or at least that are, are scheduled to right now as the schedule sits today on Tuesday. But uh, some, some interesting notes there. Hey, also on the website, if you want to check it out, I wrote a feature on Twins prospect Miguel Sano, who's a big, hulking third baseman, hitting tons of home runs here, not only on the main field at Hammond Stadium, but also on some of the side fields too. His batting practice power is pretty impressive. And if his 2013 season is any indication, he's got game power, too. He hit 35 home runs between two different levels. I wrote a story basically on where he stands with the organization right now, his goals for the season, where he thinks he'll open the year, and much, much more on one of the Twins' top prospects. Speaking of Twins' top prospects, Byron Buxton also expected to play in Wednesday's game against the Gophers. He had missed a few days with the illness that I mentioned earlier. But manager Paul Molitor said after today's workouts that he's leaning towards keeping Buxton on schedule to play Wednesday as he had originally planned. So that'll be fun to see. Buxton in game action, Barreo starting, Glenn Perkins facing his former team. Even though this won't count for anything, it's an exhibition game against a college team at the first of spring training. Still be pretty interesting to see the Twins get back to some game action at long last. Um, other notes for you? I think... I think that mostly covers it from the Twins on Tuesday. They did agree to some housekeeping contract items, which you can find the story on the website, 1500ESPN.com. Basically just agreed to one-year deals with the 15 remaining players who have fewer than three years of service time. I explained kind of all the contract details and, and why that was necessary. So check that out on the website. 
That'll do it for today's updates on Tuesday at Hammond Stadium. I'll check back in with you after the Gophers game on Wednesday. Hard to believe it that the games are finally here, but then again, it's been a long, cold winter, and I think we're all excited to see some baseball once again. Until tomorrow, thanks for watching this video. I'll catch you next time.